I'm checking the height of the curb. And in order to do that, we have to read the cuts and fills off the road here. Sometimes they're in the back, today they're on the road. So we'll double check that. Double check the back of the form because that will tell us. Right now we have about 2% into the CB, which is really good. And then we just want to go through and double check the width of our curb. Certain spots, make sure we're good. This is C4 curb. And according to MMD, MMCD spec, that's about uh, 18 inches. Double check, double check, double check. Always double checking the offsets, very important. Down three, perfect. Ready to go from core right now, and the concrete's on the way, so we'll be getting started anytime. Because it's such tight restrictions with lane widths and trying to keep two lane traffic moving, we're going back the old conventional way and, and hand forming everything and uh, pouring it, you know, the old school methodology is being used. We're not using our latest technology here due to those restraints. So we're here at the hospital right now. Uh, the boys have poured new C4 curb, uh, which they're just finishing up here. We've got about 3,000 cubes of excavation coming out. We've got about 1,500 to 2,000 meters of curb going down, and about 3,000 squares of, of concrete work going in. Uh, the major difference from doing it, as I call it, old school, is, uh, well, they're bent over a lot more. It's a lot harder on the guy's backs. Um, it's a little bit slower um, to do it this way, but at the end of the day, the end result's the same product. Um, and that's the nice thing about having the crews that know how to use both, both procedures, is we're never in a pinch because we only know how to do it one way. Um, it, is an, it is nice knowing that we can come in and do whatever the job restrictions require and we can make it happen. Mm -hmm. 